Let's say this is the inside of the wheel right here. See this? Let's say that's the inside of the wheel. And let's let's use I got a I'm gonna use a mic microphone cable. One second here. I'm gonna use a microphone cable to represent a bungee cord. On the inside of your wheel, take your bungee cord and literally thread or weave in and out of every single one of these links. You see that? I don't know if that's big enough to see that, but I just, I wove this mic cable in representation of a bungee cord in and out of every one of these links. And now when the bungee cord comes under tension, and I got this bungee going 360 degrees around the outer edge of this, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have it pulling and helping me out. I was able to take the uh, bungee cord and as it came around, one of the hooks were over here, the other hook was passing it and going over there. I'm gathering them together just by having a big enough bungee cord to go beyond. So both of these end up pulling. But I'm gonna go outside and uh, continue this with a set of chains that are on a vehicle that I've been running uh, for several days and I do deliveries, so I'm, I'm like up, up and down in hilly areas and my chain stayed on. I didn't have any issues, but they sti I still will get a ding, ding, ding when I go over about 35 miles an hour. Um, and I think what happens is there comes a point to where these things will actually lift, lift up off the tire because you're going so quickly that it's just a natural law of physics that things that are rotating are going to want to uh, flail out, okay, because the centrifugal force is throwing things off the wheel, okay, and then that ends up hitting a fender.